Daisy here. Thank you so much for tuning in today. Hope everybody's doing well out there. It's a Monday, guys. It really feels like a Monday, at least today when I'm filming this, it is. And I'm just getting ready to go to work, of course. Um, so I am getting ready and I had some products that I picked up at Five Below yesterday. Really want to try them out with you guys and see how they perform and how they do. So if you guys are interested in seeing me try out some Five Below makeup, then keep on watching. All right, so yeah, I did pick up uh, four makeup items at Five Below. I did pick up some other stuff in there yesterday as well. Um, I tried not to buy too many things because we are going to be actually moving from our apartment here in about like, well, three or four months. So I'm trying not to um, accumulate a lot of stuff because come November, I don't want to be packing up a bunch of stuff again. So um, yeah, we are going to be moving out of our apartment and I'm very excited. I am so happy that we will finally be getting out of these apartments. It has been an absolute nightmare, but that's for another uh, video. The point is, um, I went to Five Below and I did pick up some items. So let me share with you guys first off what I picked up. So one of the things I picked up was this lip liner from Wet n Wild. And this is in the shade Brandy Wine. It's a really pretty kind of brown color, kind of a, I wouldn't say it's really cool tone or warm tone. It could be either, I guess. Um, now everything in this little makeup haul was $5 and under, and I do not have the exact prices. I actually threw away my receipt and just realized it this morning, but everything at five below is five and below, um, pretty much. So all these items were $5 or less. So I did pick this up. And then I also picked up this little Color Vibe eyeshadow palette from LA Colors. And this is in the Cool Tones. So this is what it looks like. Really pretty colors. I love that it's a cool tone palette. I haven't had a lot of luck with LA Colors eyeshadow palettes. They're very, very hit or miss for me. So hopefully this will be a good one. Did pick up this LA Colors Holographic Iridescent Lip Gloss in Heavenly, which I think would look very pretty with the lip liner. And then the LA Colors Biggie Lash Tubing Mascara. So most of this is LA Colors uh, with the exception of the Wet n Wild Lip Liner. And I just ended up getting a lot of LA Colors because uh, even though Dollar Tree carries LA Colors, a lot of times they don't have all the stuff. I found that like Dollar General, um, Five Below, they carry more LA Colors items, whereas Dollar Tree kind of just carries the same stuff over and over again most times. Um, so that's all what I picked up to try out, and I'm pretty excited about it. So I'm going to start off by doing my um, eyeshadow primer. And I did already do my face um, earlier, so I, my face is all ready to go. And I've already done my foundation and everything with the exception of blush. And I actually didn't pick up a blush, which is kind of shocking. But I have so many blushes that I figured, you know what, I'll just use one of the ones that I already have. So just putting some of that on. Look, it's already time to color my hair again. I feel like I just colored it, <laughs> but it's already time again to do it. So I'm gonna let that set for just a bit. And I used my MAC Prep and Prime 24 Hour Extend Eye Base. Uh, this little tube really does kind of last for a while, which is always really nice. Um, but yeah, and then if you are wondering for my foundation, I'm wearing the Revlon Illuminance uh, Foundation. And I wear the shade, um, I think it's 301. Yeah, 301. And this has a squalene and hyaluronic acid in it. So it does have a little bit more of a dewy um, look to it. And then of course, for my uh, little powder under the eyes, my Essence Brighten Up Powder, and then my Thread Concealer. So that's what I'm wearing on my face. 
Um, I'll put on my blush once we actually do our um, eye makeup and everything. That way I know whether, you know, what kind of shade of the um, blush to put on. So I'm going to go ahead and um, go make my breakfast real quick and I'll join you guys back in just a minute. All right, so I went and made my breakfast real quick and I'll eat that here in just a bit. So let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna dive into the Cool Tone LA Colors eyeshadow palette. And this does come with one of the little applicators, a really nice long one. Um, I typically don't use those, but that's, the option is there if you'd like. So these are the shades, they're actually really pretty. Um, I really love this shade right here, which I think I'm actually going to use today. Either this one or this one. I really, really like them. Um, they're just really pretty. They're mostly cool. I mean, I would say all the shades are, are pretty much a cool tone. And I do really appreciate that because I am just so over and sick of those like pumpkin-y oranges and coppers and done with them like please give me like a nice cool tone shade so let's go ahead and get started um, I'm gonna start off by going into the far left here and just applying this little kind of nude tone shade all over And then for a crease shade, and by the way, I'm gonna be keeping this really simple. So if you guys wanna go further into detail with this, um, you know, and you get this palette, go right ahead. But I'm gonna be keeping it pretty simple. So I think actually for my, um, cause I think I wanna use this one, I'm gonna use this in my crease. So the one right next to the little gray, taking a little tiny brush and I'm just working that in. Now these are cool tone shades, so they're gonna be a little bit cool, you know, kinda ashen a little bit, which is fine with me. That's exactly what I'm kinda going for. So the pigmentation's okay. I mean, you can see that, you can see the color. I wouldn't say it's, you know, as good as some, but Definitely not the worst I've ever seen. I'm gonna actually use my finger um, instead of a brush for this shade right here. So I'm gonna go in with my finger. Ooh, nice. Ooh, yes, like that. That looks pretty. It's almost like a, like has like a silver kind of shift to it. Yeah, you can't beat that. All right, going on the other side. So far, I'm actually really pleased with this. This is better than some of the LA colors um, that I've used. So that leads me to believe that um, some of the more like cheaper, smaller palettes that Dollar Tree sells um, are not always quite as good as some of these bigger palettes you can find at like Five Below or Dollar General. And lastly, what I'm gonna do is go into this gray, like right here, and I'm just gonna add a little bit of this to the very outer edge here. And we'll see if we can even see that. My eyes are already watering. The allergies have been just horrendous. I don't know if like some of the trees or something are starting to lose their blooms or what, but it has been horrible. I mean, like, well, you can see where my eye is like watering. Okay. So I can kind of see that. Um, I mean, if you're looking for crazy pigment, you're not going to get that with this. This is not one of those kind of palettes where it's gonna be some crazy pigment, um, see it from miles. No, this is your kind of more, you know, sheer type washes of color, I think. But even then, I mean, that's not bad. You can definitely tell where I applied the product. I love the shimmers in this, really, really pretty. And 
I just think it looks really nice. So for our mascara, I'm gonna go ahead and get out this Biggie Lash. I'm not gonna do any eyeliner today because my eyes are watering so bad. They also had it in a brown and like a um, not quite as, I guess, dark black. Here is the packaging. It's one of those fingerprint magnets, but you know, it's not bad. Let's check out the brush. It's pretty big, it's a pretty big brush. So let's try it out. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. So there's the mascara, I mean, you know, it's definitely not one of my favorites. Um, I feel like the formula is kind of that typical kind of runny formula. I don't know, maybe that's uh, common with tubing mascaras, but I do like kind of the way it looks and I like the length that it gives you. And I do think it gives you some volume too, so. It looks pretty good. Um, the brush is a little bit big, but you know, again, that may be a personal preference. I kind of like more um, like a medium size kind of curved brush. I think those are the easiest for me to use, but this one's not bad. So the real test will come later when I'm actually washing my face. Does the mascara actually clean easily? Um, does it actually do the tubing as it says that it does? Um, and also, you know, will it fall out and flake throughout the day? I think it looks pretty nice, actually. I do like the way that it looks. It gives me some volume and some length, but again, we'll just kind of have to see, you know, how it goes um, as the day goes on and, you know, how it wears, as well as the eye makeup. How is that going to wear, too? Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and finish eating my breakfast, and then I'll join you guys back and we'll try out the lip products last of all. So I will see you here in just a bit. All right, guys. So I've went ahead and finished uh, getting ready for the most part. I'm just ready to try out the lip products. So, um, yeah, I went ahead and brushed my teeth and everything. I'm all ready to go. Let's try out this lip pencil first. And I'm going to kind of go through this a little quick because I really need to finish getting ready. I'm forever, like, dragging in there. Whew. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and line my lips. So, putting this on, I mean, you can tell it's kind of like a, a, like a bit of a, a brown shade but it does have like a tad bit of like a gold sparkle in it. So the pigmentation's pretty good with this, as you can see, it's pretty good. Well, let's try out this lip gloss. So here's the Holographic Iridescent Lip Gloss in Heavenly. And we're gonna apply this and hopefully it'll look really good with the lip liner. So let's see. Let's see. So I like the lip liner, but I'm not sure that I love the gold flex in it. So that's the lip look. What do you guys think? I'm okay. I don't like love the lip liner to be honest. I don't love the like copperiness of it. I'm kind of more for like a matte lip liner. This one's like a bit shimmery, but I do think it is pretty. I just don't know that it's my favorite, but I would use it for like certain lip looks. I think it would be really pretty. Also, I don't know that these colors necessarily go well together because this is given a bit of gold and this is kind of more silvery, so... This would look good with like a more warm tone eye color. So let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know if you like the lip liner, if you like the lip look. 
Uh, do you like the eye makeup, the mascara? What all do you think about it? I'm going to wear this throughout the day, not the lip color, of course, because I can't go into work looking like this. I already don't ever hardly hear the end of it, so I know I'll never hear the end of it if I wear my whole full face of makeup in there like this. Um, but let me know what you guys think, uh, and I will wear this throughout the day, and I'll just kind of update you guys later, let you know how it wore, and I'll see you all here in a bit. Hey everyone, so I just got home from work, I'm about to get out of my car and go inside, but I thought I'd show you guys how the makeup held up throughout the day. So, eye makeup, first of all, I had my MAC primer on, and as you can see, it is very muddy, and it's kind of went all around my eye and creased and everything. Um, I'm, am I surprised? No, not surprised. Uh, this is very typical of other LA Colors eyeshadows that I've tried. Um, you know, they don't stay put. They kind of slip slide all over the place. That's just what they do. Um, but, you know, you are paying, like, at Dollar Tree most of the time, a dollar twenty-five, five below, you might be paying three bucks for a palette. If you need it to get you through about, you know, four to six hours worth, I think you'll be able to get that. If you're trying to do eight hours plus, this is what you're gonna get. Now, the mascara, on the other hand, actually looks pretty good. I really don't have any kind of smudging really going on, no fallout. Um, it's not making my eyes water or anything like that. Uh, still can definitely see where I have the mascara on. It has lost the curl. But, I mean, for the most part, it looks pretty good. Um, maybe a little bit had gotten kind of here in my eye. You can see right there. Uh, my eye was watering a little bit, so I think it might have transferred a little bit to my eyelid. It's not waterproof, nor does it claim to be. But anyway, I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the lip color I took off shortly after leaving the house because, again, I don't wear lipstick like that at work. Um, yeah, that would not fly. So I just went ahead and took that off. But eye makeup, I mean, it held up, but it really doesn't look good. Uh, mascara, I'm a little bit more pleased with. So, yeah, I like it. Um, I wish I could give you guys more of a review of the actual lip uh, products, but like I said, I just don't wear that to work. It would not fly. So, um, yeah, I'm actually about to go inside. I just wanted to update you guys. Well, you know how these uh, makeup items wore. You know, you get what you pay for. They're not bad, but they're not my favorite. I don't love LA Colors. Um, it's okay. You know, like some of their items are really good, but some are hit or miss. So you just kind of have to try it, see if it works for you. If it doesn't work for you, maybe try a different thing. You know, like it's not that expensive where you can't just try it. So hope you guys enjoyed. I am tired. I am beat. I'm about to go inside and be done with living. I just want to go inside and do nothing. So I will see you guys in my next video and I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next one.